All right, what's going on guys? My name is B Flattened, and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of Pyro Pete runs um, Merely just for the hell of it. Uh, I am going to be using the Ahab And I am going to be using the Pimpernel. The only reason why I'm doing this is just so I can get more runs uh, Out of Pyro Pete throughout the duration of this video um, I would just want to display how to beat him uh, Strategies that you can use that I actually learned myself on my recent live stream and uh, some of the stuff that he can drop. And we'll just see if we can get any of those things. I was doing a little bit of his runs offline beforehand. I ended up getting uh, the Corrosivo negative. Uh, I got the Hoplite and I got the Big Boom Blaster. Those ones are the things that he can drop very, very commonly. But he can also drop like Seraph Crystals, Legendaries, uh, Legendary Class Mods, and Vehicle Skins. Let's just go ahead and see what we can get out of him here today. Uh, just before we get into the boss fight, I will show you my build, what I'm using, what I'm using for my perk tree. And of course, if there's any questions that you guys have, make sure to just uh, drop them down. And yeah, let's just go from here. Down the long gas elevator. Down the long elevator. We need elevator music for this. Maybe we'll edit some in. Um... So anyways, this is the overview of the build. Uh, main skills that you want to use. Money shot, of course. Um, inconceivable is also really cool. Um, and your two main uh, skills in Gunless and Rampage. That's your, uh, your overkill and your keep firing skills. Uh, other things that, of our note, that are of note, I can't speak. Uh, Pimpernel, obviously. Ahab, obviously. Uh, the B, this is going to be just for extra damage. Elemental Relic for explosive damage, that's also for extra damage. And Chain Lightning for when I switch to my Herald and Grog for if I have to heal in a pin. Otherwise, let's go ahead and uh, happy farming. Let's see what we can get out of him. Oh, we'll just toss in our Iridium here. I don't know why I'm starting with that. I'm dumb. I was, I was having a good time before we started recording, but it looks like because the camera's on, we're going to be having bad times. Oh, there's some good damage there. This boss fight should take, with this kind of setup, approximately two minutes, if you know what you're doing. Uh, I am on OP6. Uh, only reason why I'm only on OP6 is because I... Don't have OP8 unlocked. There's a lot of stuff I want to do before I unlock OP8. Is he going to burst attack me? Yes, he is. Okay, so when he does that little burst attack thing, he's doing some chip damage here. It's kind of annoying. That will persist until you wash it off or if you die. Preferably, I would want to wash it off instead of dying because that seems a little more uh, a little more efficient to uh, beating this boss here. I don't know why I have to reload there. That's kind of unfortunate. That spider ant broke my bee shield. What a mean person. It might be a little over two minutes on this one already, but that's okay. We can have some spider ants rolling around. I'm not too concerned about uh, needing to revival or anything. Let's see if we can drop them here in this clip. I would be able to drop them normally in that clip if I was uh, good at aiming, but we all know I'm not. Well, I was going to wash it off, but... Uh, Things happened. That's okay. We can use the spider ants. It's actually a perfect example of a uh, of a run. Use the spider ants and or the rats that drop, whichever one that there may be. Um, I'm gonna drop as soon as I stand up. Uh, let's just pop a rat. And now let's switch to the pimpernel. We should be okay from here if I put the pimpernel in the right hand. Correct hand, not the right hand. I almost died there. That was kind of scary. That was actually a really bad example of what not to do against Pete. But I got to display the perfect use of the... Um, of what the, the little showers are used for to wash off his corrosion and or fire. He does use fire too sometimes. I also got to display uh, good ways to revive yourself using the... Uh, little ants 
look at that we got a sticky homing shocko negative this is actually gonna be very very good very useful for another character uh, a little bit in the future i'm not gonna use it on this character of course but uh let's go ahead and just check that out really quickly before we uh move on to another run uh sticky homing shocko negative well of course sticky homing and it's shock um it is a transfusion grenade so i will steal health from people uh, I think that's going to be solid for our gauge build whenever we toss up gauge on live stream. Um, that was actually not a bad run at all. I could actually use that. Uh, I'm just going to check the surrounding areas to see if there's any Seraph crystals because they sometimes can fly. There's a perfect example there. Um, I want as many Seraph crystals as possible uh, before we start our live stream tonight. Uh, for those that might be watching this video late, I am streaming in an hour. Two hours, actually, because I can't tell time. Let's go ahead and, uh, just speed this up and get some farms out of the way. See what else we can pick up off of him. That was a really good grenade drop. However, I forgot to check the fuse time. Check the fuse time on it, because that's going to be important, too. Uh, the rubberized corrosive was 0 0.4. Ugh, this one, the shock was a 3.3, .3, which is, uh, not the greatest. Everything on it was good, don't get me wrong. But the fuse time being a 3.3, .3, we might as well just, uh, dismiss it as terrible. But I'm gonna hold on to it for now, just in case I get something better. Because there's always the, uh, possibilities of getting something better. At least the same, uh prefix but a better fuse time go ahead and just pop this guy here and uh i guess happy farming um the trick and build that i'm using uh it's been used many many times in the past which is a uh, pimp a having it's very very easy um it's good for if you want to solo the invincibles as of right now I have uh, Pyropeat, I have uh, Hyperius, I have Terramorphous, uh, all on OP6, um, all soloed at the moment uh, with this build just because it's just so damn good. The way it works is that the um, Pimpernel is taking damage from the Ahab and is tossing it into that shot, plus the Pimpernel is also its, uh, its own slag device. So, uh, it's including the slag damage, it's including the Pimpernel, it's including the Ahab, it's all combined into one. And, uh, of course, then we have the boost from our B, and we also have the boost from our explosive relic, too. Like, he's just... He's just melting. And, of course, the other thing is about the Pimpernel, is that when it fires, it shoots out little pellets. There's little pellets that pop off on the, uh, after you shoot. And uh, those pellets also receive the same damages and buffs and bonuses uh, as is the original shot. Uh, I don't have a good Pimpernel, that's why some of you might be thinking why it's taking me so long to kill him. I don't have the, uh, the Gentleman's Prefix. I think the Gentleman's Prefix comes with a 120% crit uh, damage on it. I have the, uh, the Barking one because um, I was not a smart farmer. I did not go for a gentleman's one. I just picked up the first one and went from there. Uh, looks like his looks like he dropped a hoplite. Got buried underneath there. Um, not the greatest hoplite, to be honest with you. I, I guess no hoplite is the greatest hoplite, but like, uh, we'll check it anyways. Uh, the capacity. Well, the capacity on this one is actually better, but uh, yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna grab this hot plate instead. We're gonna swap out our little hot plates here. Swap out our hot plates. Why was I looking in grenades for hot plates? Funny. Drop that one off. Don't need it. Take that one. Do a little. Do a little switch. Oh, there's actually a skin there. This is what I was talking about with uh, when I was saying that he can drop vehicle skins too. His vehicle skins can be dropped pretty commonly. I've had, uh, I think four previously before I started hit recording. Um, 
go ahead and just use that up and pick up this here carnage probably going to be tossing that carnage onto a uh um probably an accident eventually go ahead and just save quit there i think we're gonna run probably two or three more times in this video i plan on doing a video uh for every raid boss um i want to do hyperius uh, i want to do pyro pete which is now so i guess that's checked off the list um doing a terramorphous on uh, the op levels i would want to do that uh vora dexty uh vera i want to do them all just so that you guys can see uh every raid boss and how to's to uh solo them they're all definitely possible to solo especially when you're using a trick like this it's not really a chick uh trick it's more of a glitch but uh these guys are pretty well non soloable soloable without some kind of trick um I've done Gi legitly for this Ahab, and I did that solo. Uh, I wish I was recording at the time, honestly, because uh, that would have been pretty impressive to have as a clip or just a full-on video even, even if it was like half an hour, close to. Um, but now, I, I swear, I'm not doing... Uh, I'm not doing Gi anymore, to be completely honest with you. I'm not doing Gi solo uh, legitly anymore that was just uh, hell and uh, to go through that again would just be crazy uh, so if I do do a, a gi video if you guys would want to see a gi video I would definitely do um, the gate crush uh, gate crush is still a glitch that is a thing around here Some pretty good stuff it works out really really well uh, I didn't have the grenade at the time. I was gonna consider gate crushing before I did them legitly, but I didn't have the grenade, the, the proper grenade at least, to uh, to pull it off. Uh, I need a Thorg. Why are all these spider ants jumping everywhere? I mean, I know that's their main purpose and design, but it can only get me killed. But even though I'm standing up, that fire that knocked me down earlier is still there. That was actually some decent damage there. I think I'm not even going to worry about the spider ants. I'm just going to go for him. That was enough. Grab some Seraph Crystals while we're at it. We just hit 100, 100 Seraph Crystal hype. What did he drop? Uh, longbow Slag O Negative with a 2.9 on it. That's actually not bad. Look at that, we're picking up all the elements. Elemental grenades, you gotta catch them all. There are crystals for days. Those crystals are really nice, actually. Uh, we got another bandit technical skin off of him. He drops a lot. And I'm not, I'm not joking when I say a lot. He drops a lot of skins. Uh, especially vehicle skins. So, vehicle skins are something that you're into and this is going to be the guy for you uh, i'm just going to go ahead and momentarily drop off this b while we uh use up these skins here i think i saw a second one too go ahead and use that one up did i see a second skin in there i thought i did there's definitely a lot of things in here uh this one mud runner Go ahead and use that skin up. And I do want that slag a negative. It is a horrible fuse time, but uh collection. Why not? Um I kinda want that OP to B as well. And I think I'm going to get rid of 
Probably this legendary psycho class mod to be honest with you those things are pretty easy to come by uh, I think we're gonna run one more time just to see what we can get. I was hoping to get a legendary off of him Just to show that he can drop legendaries in fact um, I did mention that he does drop legendaries, but if he doesn't drop one on this video, you guys will be like What the hell? He's lying to us. Be flattened. Why would you lie to us? And I would just be like, I'm not lying. I just have really terrible luck in this game. My RNG is horrible. I'm just gonna say that right now. My RNG is absolutely horrible, guys. But let's not mention the world drops that I've gotten in the past weeks. As uh, I've gotten four, apparently. Four world drops in the past two and a half, three weeks. But I still have really bad RNG in this game. I think that's just Gearbox's way of saying, you played too many hours in this game, you deserve a reward after all that time. I feel like it would be a thing. So yeah, I think this is gonna be our last run. We'll see what we get off of him. No, he hit me with fire. Oh, he hit me for a lot, actually. Uh, so we can just use our chain lightning when we're holding our drog just to uh, heal back up. As a perfect example of uh, why chain lightning is just a god on Salvador. Wow, he's already taking health damage. That's actually really good. It's gonna be a decent run, I think, guys. Let me go ahead and just uh, take a shower here. Yes, let me go take a shower. There we go. Those spider ants? I don't mind if there's spider ants. Because uh, when it comes to the rats, the rats uh, knock off your shield pretty quickly. Because they can shoot you. Spider ants, you can usually get a couple shots in on Pete before they chip your shield out. And well, he's dead. You don't have to worry about uh, spider ants or rats being around. As soon as Pete is dead, the, the fight is over. Uh, you don't have to shower. Your uh, your uh, corrosion or your fire damage will still uh, not persist. It'll go away. It will not hurt you. Is that a big boom blaster? Another big boom blaster, hey? I don't think he dropped a legendary here. I do not think he dropped a legendary. Which is uh, very unfortunate. I'm going to take a second look just in case because uh, sometimes things like to be buried on him. It was a big boom blaster though. For our... Uh, for the uh, Seraph. He almost dropped a Seraph every single time. I don't know if that's actually guaranteed for him to drop a Seraph every single time. Go ahead and just save and quit there. You know what? We'll run him one more time. I have a really bad tendency of saying this is the last run, but not actually committing to uh, doing that as the last run. I usually add in one more. Just a thing. I love how I was just able to jump right in front of that guy. And he's just like, yeah, bro, you go ahead. You go do you. Pyro Pete will mess you up. Little does he know. All right, Pyro Pete, last run. Where are you at, Petey bro? Where are you at? Oh, that sign is so far. You know you're lazy when you can't run to the other side of the room just to hit a sign. This is my life now. Oh no, you keep those flamethrower arms away from me. Please and thank you. Yeah, you can go over there and hit the sprinkler system so that uh, so that uh, water comes down all the time. I was a little bit more aggressive there, which I shouldn't have been. That was my bad. Well, now we're gonna have to go shower. Uh, let's go over here. Go shower and hope oh, spider ants. Oh, that really hurt. That really hurt, guys. Go spider ants, yay! I love spider ants. This is the one time I'm okay with spider ants. Otherwise, spider ants and peak can go right away, especially if they're rabid or, uh, I guess black queen's kind of annoying too. Did I dodge 
all of that? Oh my goodness. I dodged all of that and kept my B shield boost. That's amazing. What a rocket launcher is that? Oh, that's not a rocket launcher. That's just his arm. We'll pretend I didn't say that. I was like, is that a Nora fleet? No, I'm just kidding. Is that a Nora fleet? Would have been pretty nice. There's a uh, stun runner skin over there. Am I full? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to drop something for that skin. I guess you could say I'm I'm kind of a skins person, but I don't actually farm for them. I just kind of get them and go from there. Eventually, I might have to uh, farm Henry or something for skins. There are some nice skins in this game. I don't know if you guys have seen some of the nicer skins. Maybe I'll have to farm for them. Is that a big boom? Yeah, it's a big boom. So no legendary runs, but uh, all seraphs. All seraphs, no legendaries. Got a couple skins out of that. I think that's where we're gonna call it there. Pete doesn't like me too much. There's a skin there, but not the right kind. Yeah, I think we're gonna call it there for uh, all the farms. Guys, I wanted to thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you guys want to see any specific raid boss to be done next, let me know. I'll use this trick. Uh, I'll show you what they can drop. Um, and I think that's going to be all. Thank you all so much for watching. He didn't get the legendary dropped, but I do assure you that he can drop legendaries. His top three seraphs, um, we all saw them in that run, was the corrosive o negative. Oh, elemental O negative, uh, Hoplite, and the Big Boom Blaster. Uh, that's Pyro Pete, you guys. My name is B Flatten. I'm signing on out of here. Make sure to go ahead and check out twitch.tv slash B F L A T T E N E D, B Flattened. That is me. That's where I live stream all of this kind of stuff. Uh, this was just a little guide how to and what Pete drops. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to suggest what you guys want to see next. Really do appreciate the support. You guys are awesome. Take care. My name is B Flattened, and I'm signing out out of here.